Hi everyone. Um, did you know that there is a drink when you drink it, uh, it starts making you completely crazy, turning you into a serial killer and even worse, starting, it's starting to see green fairies. You probably know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about absinthe. Uh, to be honest, guys, these are just myths. These are stories that have been made up. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make a very nice absinthe serving, the way how you should drink it, not straight up as a shooter breathing fire all the time. Um, and I'm going to make another drink using absinthe for a New Orleans classic cocktail called the Sazerac. Uh, first things first, let me explain you what is absinthe. Absinthe basically is a drink which comes in different colors, white when it's directly from the still, or greenish or yellowish, even red. Um, it's a blend of spices. And the most important one in um, absinthe is warm wood. Warm wood gives you a tangy, bitter flavor and mouthfeel and really prepares the stomach also for dinner. That's why the working class and artists and painters, uh, they uh, drank absinthe uh, before dinner. Uh, Ernest Hemingway is one of these gentlemen that drank uh, absinthe a lot and he created a, um, a recipe with a champagne. So he called it death in the afternoon. Uh, also Vincent van Gogh, uh, the famous painter, he cut off his ear, they said, because of uh, drinking absinthe. Uh, many much more stories to say, but it was a drink which became super popular in the 18th century. And then especially the wine producers, they saw these, this, this drink from Switzerland, first produced going to France, every bar in Paris was drinking it and all over Europe, people were drinking absinthe really. So 18, sorry, 1905, there was a farmer in Switzerland uh, and he actually murdered his whole family with an ax. Um, and it, this story went to the police, this story went to the media and what it said there is that this man was drinking absinthe and so they blew up the whole concept of absinthe being uh, a, a big, yeah, messing up your mind uh, and make, <laughs> turning you into a serial killer. This is not true guys, it was just the media uh, that did this. But absinthe got banned, uh, first to Switzerland, then the USA and then eventually all over, all over the world. It is legal now because it's just stories, it's a lot of crap, yeah? Super nice ingredients. Um, don't drink it straight up, guys. This is 70 to 80 percent. Um, I'm going to use the, this one. It's more citrusy in, in flavor. So as a cocktail ingredient as well. But I'm going to show you this serving. This is what we call a absinthe fountain, right? We have a little tap which we can uh, let water fall into the glass. Originally, it calls for an absinthe glass, which has a little bowl at the bottom and then at the top, you know how much water to put. If you need the correct ratio, that's one to four or one to five. With other words, one part of absinthe, there's some water in there. You can actually see that it's already starting to get opaque, a little bit cloudy, because the oils, they get released and you get a lot more um, visibility in the liquid. This one is still clear. So we're going to do one fifth, one fifth, and it's a spirit, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, it's a spirit, um, and because of the bitterness of the wormwood, you want to add some sugar. We do this by this uh, absinthe bar spoon, uh, which makes it possible for us to put a nice cube on there. The water will start going through the cube, melting it down, going into the drink, and the drink will not become that bitter. So that's how you serve it. A little bit of theater, Make sure it drips down the glass. There you go. Lovely. This is a great way to start a conversation with your guests. Uh, also, when you're serving your guests, um, this device can be used also for cocktail sharing. Do you have a nice mojito style drink or another fruity cocktail or maybe a more heavy cocktail? Put this on the table and people can start tapping it themselves. It's really fun and uh, interactive. So while this is doing its thing, I'm going to prepare another drink with absinthe, which is called the Sazerac. The Sazerac is a New Orleans classic cocktail. Let me get my stuff downstairs because we need to have some ice. Always use the freshest ice you can get. We need our mixing glass because this technique calls for a stirring technique. Put it there, it's a little bit busy now, but we're getting there. Ice cold glass, just here. And of course, we need our garnish, that is the lemon. 
So the Sazerac originally was a drink which people served as a medicine. I need to shut this down, by the way. They, <coughs> sorry, they drank it as a medicine. And uh, there was a gentleman called Antoine Pession. And he had a small pharmacy in New Orleans where he served his little bitter. This is close to Pession bitters. Um, in a French egg cup, the coquetier cocktail glass, um, with some sugar, some cognac, and the bitters. It's like a health drink. We're going to honor this and start putting some of that Peugeot style bitters in there. One, two, three, four, five dashes in this case. We need to have sugar to sweeten it up a little bit. And that is one bar spoon. Remember, it's all about balance in drinks. When using this tiny amount of ingredients, it can really go wrong very fast. Stick with the measurements. Cool. So, sweet is in there, bitter is in there. To make it more American, I'm going to stick with rye whiskey. This has been sherry cask finished, so it's a little bit more fruity and uh, lengthened in flavor. So long, long flavor, nice and complex. That's in there. We're using 60 ml or if you're from the US, two ounces. Put that back where you found it. Cool, cool, have a check, check. I'm not going to stir this yet. Why? Uh, we need to prepare the glass. This is the ice bit. Glass is nicely uh, clean. It is cold, so get rid of the ice, really important. And then we use our absinthe in here, just a little bit. There you go. The myth is that when you make a, uh, a Sazerac, you have to scream Sazerac while flipping the glass into the air, twisting it. I might probably get spilled, but that's the fun fact here. So toss it in the air, scream Sazerac, finish the drink, um, and then we're done. So here we go. One, two, three, Sazerac. Whoa. One more time, Sazerac. Get rid of that. That's for the angels or for the fairies, if you're, if you're looking. Cool. Ice in there. Guys, when do you stir a drink? You actually stir a drink when you're using uh, clear ingredients. So no fresh juices, no um, dairy products. You need lots of it because as I'm adding ice, as I'm adding ice, you start getting melting water in there. So what we do, we start stirring, stirring with the spoon. The drink gets cold. Let me put it down so you can see what I'm doing. The drink gets cold. We create a silky mouth texture, mouth feel really, and we lower down the alcohol percentage a little bit so it becomes a lot more palatable. So there we go. More ice is less water, so make sure that it's always enough ice in there. Quick little quality control. That's super nice. So for the people who love to see it one more time, Sazra! And then we're going to strain it down into the glass, just like so. It's served straight up into a cold glass, one of few drinks that you serve like this. And last but at least the lemon. We're going to put this into the glass. I need my peeler for that. The essential oils of the lemon peel, make sure it's washed and clean. The essential oils we're going to collect on top of the glass and make this drink super aromatic and super tasty. So, spray the sunny side of the peel because the white part doesn't contain any oil. Uh, doesn't contain any oil. We call that the dark side. So we stick with the sunny side up, spray it over the drink, and then really discard the peel, right? So that's, let me get rid of this to make it nice and clean. Ladies and gentlemen, New Orleans classic drink. It's very tasty, super aromatic. Fantastic. Sherry cask finished rye whiskey. We get some absinthe, some, some anise notes in there as well. When you're in New Orleans, make sure to order one. Last but not least, guys, we have the servings of the absinthe, so make sure the spoons go in. We give it a quick little stir so the sugar can still dissolve. And then originally, you serve the drink with a small saucer for people to put the spoon in. Here as well, and there you go. The myth on the absinthe, guys, is not true. It doesn't make you crazy. It's a super nice ingredient. So go get them. See you next time.
This is a Yachting International Radio production brought to you by Luxury Hospitality.